Good morning. Today we're going to be taking a little trip. Good morning. I'm Aaron. And I'm Sandra. This morning we're going to be going to a place called Dewey, Utah. It's about 35 miles or so east of Moab, Utah. We're going to be taking a trail on the north side of the Colorado River just before the Dewey Bridge. Um, and hopefully the trail, we've taken it before but not this particular portion of the trail, but hopefully it'll bring us to the back side of Arches National Park and maybe we can see some stuff out there. So, without further ado, we are going to get everything loaded into the cooler and the stuff goes in the forerunner well now that all that's done i guess we can uh get on our way thank you wifey You guys probably didn't think that was going to work, huh? Um, well, we finally got our fuel and all loaded up and two dogs. And uh, it's kind of clearing up out there a little bit now. It looks like we're going to have a little bit nicer day for shooting video and going four-wheeling around. Uh, a little more about the area that we're going to. I told you that it was Dewey. Um, that is uh, an old town site. It was for the Dewey Bridge is a historical bridge that got built to improve the access down to the Moab area. Um, it was uh, a historical bridge, it was really cool and uh, some kids were out there playing with fireworks on it a while back, I don't know, 10 years ago or something and uh, burnt the sucker down. So we'll show you some pictures about that. but. Um, this whole area down here is along the Dolores River and the Colorado River. It's actually the confluence of the two rivers. And the Dolores River was, uh, a lot of gold was, well not a lot of gold was found, but they found gold in it and did a lot of mining in the area. Um, we like doing prospecting and such, so we uh, I like hanging out in this area. It's just kind of fun and find some cool old stuff from time to time. in here fortunately here's a little map it's not going to help us a whole lot for our purposes if i was thinking i would have grabbed the map of the area before we left but i didn't but uh, anyway we are right about there where's my hand where's my hand where's my hand where's my hand i can't even see my hand oh there i am we're right about there we're going to be going down here towards the Arches National Park. So we just got down to the Colorado River um, and I remembered that there's a cool little feature up here, not really a feature, but uh, it's a really neat spot that I don't think that I've taken Sandra to yet either. Um, obviously not you, but you know, Sandra and my wife, I haven't taken her either so you should be pretty impressed that I put you in front of her that's kind of strange but um, anyway we're coming up on it here and uh, we'll pull off the road and 
like take a quick little tour of this area. I think everybody's going to enjoy it. Alright, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Right in front of us, that little hole in the ground is actually a spring. The water is not really a spring, but the uh, water would seep through the rocks here and out that little hole. So during the summer, it's kind of a little bit of a, a flow right here. It's not very much, but it's pretty cool. So somebody drilled out the side of the mountain made a house once upon a time and it's uh that's a cool little thing hanging from the I can't get the camera to tilt up right there a little piece of something rather that's neat. So, yeah, you can see how the roof is falling down and all these bolts. Those rusty looking things in the ceiling. Where they bolted the roof up. Show them the fireplace. And uh, these are the bolts that are holding the roof up. They go up way up in there. There's an expansion that uh, holds them in place. Somebody's been using the fireplace. You can see that. <laughs> Whoa, falling over, falling over. Yeah, another bolt hanging down from the ceiling. And uh, staircase, and uh, another, uh-oh, Elvis something, Elvis something, something about Elvis, somebody's an Elvis fan. I think this was the kitchen. There's like a little chimney right here that would go up and it's probably where the stove would have been. And some uh, pipes, another little pipe in the ground. <laughs> Graffiti. And up the grand staircase. And we got. A lot of graffiti up in here. Apparently, we're not the only person that knows about this place. <laughs> That's some uh, pretty... This must be the front porch. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I don't know. But... Uh, that's... Uh, what it is, little dog. Pretty neat little spot though. Too bad there's all this graffiti in here. It's pretty sad somebody writes stuff like that up there. Well, anyway, chase that squirrel about enough. So here we are at the historic Dewey Bridge and uh, just a little placard that they have here about the uh, it says restored in 2000 huh. oh, it also says built in 1916 and uh, I don't know man that baby ain't so restored it's cool though, there's a new bridge over there that you actually drive across because, yeah, you can't get across this one very easily. Um, some pretty cool little rock features 
and such along the way. Another thing about this area is there's a lot of jasper. There's like a, I want to call it like just a cap of jasper all over back there where we like to go camping. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to find some over here. I've never looked for it over here, but, um, and quartz, a lot of quartz around here, hematite. Uh, we found a bitchin' meteorite out here once, a big one, um, as far as meteorites are concerned. that we're gonna go down and subsequently back up again later and, uh, I guess that's not all of it this is part of it here too uh, it's fairly steep it's got a couple of steps in it and uh, little zigzags but uh, it's either that or that. I don't really like to look at that one. It's got big steps. Look at little teeny wifey up there waving. Hi wifey.
Usually I hate going down. That wasn't too bad. Well, it was a little bit of a quagmire there for a while and uh, they got a little bit lost and uh, you know, the Forerunner got a little bit muddy. The camera doesn't want to look at the Forerunner. But we did find an arch out here in the middle. Oh, look, a dog peeing. Thanks for not pooping, Zoe. Kind of cool, just a little one. I think we're right on the edge of Arches National Park now. That's a big rock. Here comes the wife. She thinks she's going to walk down the hill. Me? Maybe. All right, I'll walk down the hill. Well, it's a lot bigger when you get right up on it. Oh look, there's a girl in the arch. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right, I fell. <laughs> that's cool. And there's the, uh, looking out the arch. And there's looking the other way out the arch. And there's a little dog climbing around in the arch. Just a slightly different view through the arch. So Aaron's trying to take a still shot and he's got 20 seconds to go from there to where I'm standing. So we're going to see how it goes. Here goes the mad dash. Arches National Park. However, we did find an arch that we got to explore. Uh, found some really exciting new places that we're going to go and look at uh, when it gets a little bit warmer and, and a little bit easier to get around. Um, Aaron got the Forerunner really dirty. Yeah, it got kind of muddy after that. We took a simple road that just went north and uh, Got a little bit lost, and a lot of it muddy, and ended up back at uh, I-70. But we did, like Sandra said, we found a couple of spots that look promising for camping, and uh, we'll be able to get the fifth wheel back there, so that's kind of cool, and then just take off in the Forerunner from there, or hike. Maybe we should hike. We're fat. Um, 
otherwise, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, check out the website, campingnecessity.com.